even sure if they have any flares left. I'm not even sure how many flares the officers come with, in fact. So uh, get commenting, tell me. Tell us some information about that. The right-hand side seeming very troubled at the moment. We've got infantry from Shooter moving once again back in. Supported by Underground General's Panther. I did believe that was Shooter's Panther beforehand, but no. It's Underground General's. He's nudging away infantry. We've also had a vehicle appear on the minimap, massacring trees. Panzer II Luke's from Underground General going to be assisting on this left-hand side. Once again, the point is in the hand of the UK. They have five points in total. That's really bad news for the Germans. They are so close to victory. So close to victory. And it's just all falling apart. Thompson Nagant moving into this zone once again to neutralize it. It means that it will be five points to one. And it is. This is a severe problem right now for the Germans. Shooter has a heavy assault coming on his right hand side. It needs to be successful to remain in the game. He's accusing Patton of giving the enemy infantry. Um, which... You know, this game is being recorded. Wow, that was a cool explosion. Um, from the point of view of the UK as well, so you'll be able to check that out. I'll give you a link to Irish, the name of the cool dude who... Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to sit down and watch his games, because I can't really sit down and watch my own games, and that was kind of cool that that gun flew in the air. Hopefully, maybe someone picks it up. It's the one gun to rule the world. And what the hell was I talking about there? It doesn't matter. Come on, shooter. Come on, you can do this. You've got underground general supporting you to take this zone. Even if you can't win the war, you can win this battle and make me proud. Never give up on this game. Even if you're being completely destroyed and you only have one soldier left, you just have to be like, I have this one guy left. What am I to do? I know what. I've just got to be the most irritating, annoying scum of the earth to the enemy. To my opponent, I've got to make him so frustrated that he starts to scream at his monitor. This is the equivalent of a moral victory to you. And Shooter, in spite of all odds, has made it to this capture zone. <laughs> Always happens, just freaking sods law. Every time I say something, it's like, oh yeah, this guy, this guy, this tank isn't gonna die. And all of a sudden it's like, boom, that tank blows up. I am bad luck. Um, you don't want me commentating on your side because I'll say something and performance drop experience where I play it underground Ah, oh, no, we're back. He's gonna stay and play the game and I've got a sniffling nose now <laughs> Oh god, <clears throat> I hate colds and half track dick 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 hit man Called the fire brigade and possibly someone who can clear up my nose all of a sudden the importance of breathing uh, comes right to me. Got a panzer shrek landing right next to this guy. Shooter, not gonna pick it up. Maybe he hasn't noticed. Always useful. Panther rolling out. Underground General getting very impatient with the enemy. They want to move into this zone right now and claim it. The Germans still have the lead, but that is slowly dwindling down as the UK hold more zones, constantly holding more zones. Every time the Germans capture one, Usually they lose one elsewhere. None of these players rather annoyingly have heard of a time called bedtime. It's getting very late here. Obviously I'm getting exhausted, but also imagine what it's like for the players. We're approaching the 50 minute marker of this game. Seems like it's gonna go on for over an hour, quite possibly. It's currently three zones to two in favor of the UK. But um, I think as this game goes on, remember it is late at night and oh god, Thompson Nagant sneaks around and takes out a Nebel Werfer. He's going to continue to destroy it. Um, if that was me, I'd just freaking crew it and then fire some shots, but uh, yeah, maybe he couldn't fire, but whatever, he destroys that as out of the picture. But there's no infantry in the central zone for Germany at the moment. Uh, so Thompson Nagant has free reign. He can move wherever he likes in that zone and get off all these wonderful flanks. Uh, as well as, you know, general intelligence of what's going to be coming to the left and right flanks, which at the moment uh, is underground general and uh, the shooter's focus at the moment. Half-track moves in, unloads those guys as it moves. What a skill there. Straight away, <laughs> firing on all the infantry in that trench. If only that half-track would move around to this area and just gun them down in a nice linear fashion. I believe these are 25 pounder shots. Uh, that artillery is still alive in the back. Yes, it is. It's firing on this position. It's bad news for Underground General. 
Uh, as I was saying though about exhaustion, remember this is late at night and this game's going on and on. Usually players will have a general idea of how they should start their game and what they can do. Um, especially with their resources, they'll have uh, a certain amount of resources they want to spend or um, keep depending on you know what happens in the situation. But as the game goes longer and longer, it's more rare to see long games, which means players have to improvise with whatever they have left. You can see this panther is now frontline defense, uh, although it, <laughs> it's not really defending anything. All these zones are now being controlled by the UK. We need infantry. We do have an infantry squad moving up to support that panther from a shooter. Uh, on this left-hand side, though, the engagement still continues in the trenches. It doesn't look like any of the artillery managed to get a direct hit. The score being 88 points for both teams. It's going to become a very heavy micromanagement battle here for Shooter now. As he tries to make these units as effective as possible with the Panther. There's also a second squad coming to back up the Volkstum. Uh, and Shooter moving his Panther in. Getting really in there. In the face of Thompson Nagan. This is not the time to hold back, comrades. Take back what is rightfully ours. Make this game go on for another freaking hour, why don't you? I, yeah, I don't have to sleep. I'm a freaking Anuki the robot. A Crusader AA tank from Thompson Nagan takes out the tracks of the Panther, which means the Panther is no longer going to be able to move and support this infantry if they proceed any further. This is a big deal for this time in the game. Time is against Shooter. He needs to capture those zones, which means he's now going to have to spend time repairing that Panther. Get it fully operational. It looks like he's going to opt to go for the central position because that's nearer and the Panther can still support from that distance. There's a lot of infantry for the UK at the moment. Uh, no infantry in the zone for the Germans. We now have a Panzer II and more infantry arriving to the centre to assist the Panzer II. Not sure if there's anything to oppose that. We still have artillery in the rear lines for the UK. They can fire on this position. Uh, so much infantry. Pouring into the zone to try and decap it as fast as possible and retake it. If they can hold that position, they will be scoring points. This is all they need right now. They do have three points of their own. The UK have three points. There's only three points left that the UK need to take to win the game. Twelve for the Germans. It's still anyone's game. Unfortunately, the Panzer II is destroyed. The crew are alive. They get out. <laughs> The crew, so slow. This guy's very inaccurate with his pistol. Uh, so unfortunate. That crew could have hopped out and destroyed the AT infantry, which is now taken out, eliminated, got rid of the Panther. That's a huge loss for the Germans. 30 seconds ago, I said that this was anyone's game. Thompson Nagant sacrificing himself to fully destroy the Panther. I don't think that's necessary. But anyway, I said this game was still anyone's, but now Shooter and Underground General, I do believe this game is over. They are not victorious today. As soon as this zone is captured by the UK, this game is over. Only one more point to end the game. This, without a doubt, has been an epic game. Uh, thank you, RW Clan, for letting me sit in on this one. And also, remember, this is the third time I mention it, but Irish has recorded the same game from the opposite side, so you'll be able to check in on that and see a lot of stuff which I haven't captured. It's impossible to capture everything, but maybe with two, we freaking can. Well, that was lovely. Thank you. So congratulations to Thompson Nagant and Def's Hand. They are the winners for today. They provided a very interesting game, and although Underground General and Shooter may have lost today, they did not give up till the very end. Actually, they just didn't give up at all. That last point was still being captured by the UK, and they were still fighting it out, trying to win the game. And that's very important. That was a great game. But for now, I'm so tired. I want a hot dog as well. So going to reward myself after this one. It's been a long game. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm a Nuki TV.